Hey there, folks. Chris Waters here at San Diego Comic-Con on the GameSpot stage. And joining me now, Brian Hong, Director of Marketing for Project Cars. Brian, welcome. Thank you. Uh, excited to have you here. Uh, Comic-Con treating you guys well? Yeah, we're having a great time. We got our booth on the floor showing off all our games, including Project Cars. Including Project Cars, which we've got in action right now. And uh, this is, you know, it, it's one of these, uh, you're just your garden variety, beautiful racing game that like makes you really glad you bought a next-gen system, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited about the game. Uh, Project Cars is the community-assisted racing simulator uh, by the studio Slightly Mad. For racing game fans, they'll remember that those are the fellas that were responsible for the Need for Speed Shift series. So Need for Speed Shift. Yeah. Uh, well, we got a lot of fans of that on GameSpot, actually. And uh, you said community assisted, right? So what is that? I mean, I feel like the challenge for a racing game is to carve carve out a niche. And it sounds like community assisted is your thing. What does that mean? Yes, this is the first AAA racing game that was actually crowdsourced. So through the world of mass development, uh, the studio has been able to get uh, donations and members uh, to join this community and they've been getting access to play the builds every couple of weeks mm -hmm. and provide tons of their feedback on what they want in a racing game. Do they want that turn to be a little wider? Is that a They feedback? want it to be <laughs> unforgiving, you know. They, uh, they've, it's been great because they've been providing a lot of uh, reference imagery, uh, a lot of feedback on the handling. Oh, cool. Uh, so, yeah, the studio has said, and they like to say that this is a uh, racing game for racers. By racers. By racers. Yeah, so I mean, that's the question. I mean, you know, you're getting feedback on the handling of these cars, and I feel like the, the kind of people, you know, not everyone who's giving you feedback on it has been behind the wheel of one of these on a racetrack. But, uh, so, but there are these enthusiast communities that you can tap into and the knowledge base there is just tremendous. It is, and, and because they've been able to give that feedback, it, it's actually allowed the community an unprecedented level of uh, involvement you know, in the game design. Mm -hmm. uh, they run polls to see you know, what tracks do you want, what cars do you want. So they're really, uh, it's not just kind of lip service like, hey, thanks for your money, we're gonna go make the game. They've been asking, hey, what tracks do you guys wanna see? Mm -hmm. What cars do you want in the game? How do you want the game to be you know, set up and put together, so. And I've, I imagine that's, can also get a bit challenging for you guys because, you know, yeah, I want to see uh, every licensed track across the planet. I want to see some space tracks. I want to, sure. you know, like, I mean, you guys got to narrow it down a little bit. There are sort of developer design decisions you have to do to sort of pare it down. So what's right. been the, what have been sort of the boundaries you guys have been sort of trying to channel all this feedback into, into well, I think the, the developer definitely wants to try and please as many of the fans as they can, but they do understand at the end of the day, uh, this isn't the only racing game that's come out mm -hmm. up to this point. So I think they're trying to find that good balance between you know offering out cars that people want to see mm -hmm. uh, versus uh, having cars in there that are unique um, and you know maybe not seen before. So well, which I gotta ask now, what uh, what kind of cars are unique and not seen before? I mean, are we talking like concept cars or? Well, you know, yeah, they've got a lot of different cars, not just the most modern ones, but mm -hmm. they've got a lot of the classics in there as well. Um, I know that most recently they've talked about uh, their their partnership with Nissan. So. The GTR, which is the favorite car of you know car fanboys everywhere. The, okay. The 2014 Nismo is going to be in the game, uh, mm -hmm. so that should be pretty exciting. Sure, that's probably a car. That is. Can you tell that I'm not like a super car that's, community? That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no. If you get into one of those things, yeah, the acceleration's <laughs> face ripping. It's awesome. So yeah, well, tell tell me about you know. So I am not like a you know super knowledgeable when it comes to car racing. Obviously, uh, what's what's in this game for me? What do you got? Well, the, the tracks and the cars we've talked about, I think when you think about uh, the level of handling and the game features, mm -hmm. uh, one thing that differentiates uh, this, uh, this game from once before it is uh, when you get started in the game, you're going to have access to race all the cars in the different disciplines right out of the gate. Okay. Uh, that's one thing that I think the community has kind of said, hey, why do I have to race forever to unlock every single I car? I want to grind through this entire class of cars. Right. I don't really care to drive, just yeah. to drive the one I really want to. Yeah, I want to open up the cabinets. I want to see peanut butter jelly. I want to get it all, you know. You got some rich cabinets. Yes. Delicious. Yes. Uh, so, talk. I guess, talk a little bit about the structure of the game. You know, is there sort of 
do you do you chart a career? Do you like yeah. sort of work within different disc car disciplines and car types? Like yeah, how's there's, that go? There's the GT racing, there's open wheel, uh, there's even kart racing. Mm -hmm. um, in season mode, you can get right in, create your own race car driver. Uh, and as you go into the different disciplines and you uh, have success in there, uh, basically you'll gain uh, the accolades points and your, you know, your reputation points. And as you get in, when you want to do online racing with, mm -hmm. uh, they've tested, they've stress, te stress tested up to I think 30, 30 plus at the same time. They've tested it, but right now uh, they are talking about having about 16 to 20 in multiplayer. Okay. So this is great because if you start your own lobby and it's private, uh, you can race with your friends if you want to. If you just want to go out and compete against other racers of your same ilk, uh, the network driver uh, series in there will actually match you with people who have about the same level of driving experience as you as well. And is that so? That's tied to that reputation you were talking about, right. and the in your your own in-game successes and how much time you put into it. Right. All right. Uh, and so, yeah, in terms of online modes, I mean, are we talking just kind of like one-off races, like a little a racing series, or any kind of grander okay. plans along like? a year-long Formula One racing <laughs> competition. <laughs> I, I think it's going to allow you to have the flexibility to do the one-off races as well as get into much longer series in the season. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know that they're still working out a lot of the details on the setup of the game as they get in with the community and keep getting their feedback. But that's... And that's, yeah. and that's, that's leading up to release, but if you're... So I feel like if you're a community-driven game, you release the game, the, your community gets bigger because now people can actually get the game in their hands. You can let them know through the game, like, hey, we're, we're a community-driven game. Are, are you guys going to be continuing that kind of support and that kind of, uh, you know, tweaking and adding new content based on community desires after release? Right, yeah, because the way that the game development has gone, I mean, they've been constantly getting feedback and running those tweaks. Mm -hmm. I think the intent is fully to continue on getting that feedback all the way through. Uh, in a lot of ways, this has been uh, something of an experiment in terms of game development. I mean, I think fans have never had this much access and input, um, and the developer is, I think, you know, slightly mad is trying to make sure that uh, you know, everyone's voices are listened to. Well, that does sound slightly mad, but yes. uh, the game looks like it's shaping up pretty well, and uh, I guess, is it possible, so folks, if they watch this demo and they're thinking like, yeah, I'd like to community. I'd like to community contribute to this this slightly mad endeavor. Is yeah. there a way that they can sort of get involved? Well, they actually uh, once once they started the funding, uh, I believe they had over eighty thousand uh, folks ultimately sign up to join the community. Mm -hmm. uh, they had six tiers that you could actually uh, buy into. You know, starting from junior all the way to senior member, and that gave you different levels of access and different levels of uh, interaction with the developer. But um, I think right now, when you think of just that alone, um, that that's kind of unique. But uh, another piece that we haven't talked about yet is virtual reality. Uh, that's virtual something that's going to be virtual reality. Yeah, the future. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> one of the things that they want uh, this game to be compatible with is the Oculus Rift and the Project Morpheus sure. uh, headsets. So, um, they'll be giving out more details on you know how that uh, actually works. But we do know right now that uh, they've been doing a lot of testing on it. They've mm -hmm. actually been posting videos on YouTube showing the you know the physics with your uh, with your head you know inside the helmet and kind of seeing the 360 perspective. So no kidding. Uh, that is something we're really excited about uh, to show once it you know kind of gets off the ground. That's neat. Yeah, and it's I mean that's a lot of developers are sort of telling us that they're experimenting with it, they're checking it out, but yeah. like, they, you know, I think that, you know, in the next year it's really looming that we're going to get to see so many of these games yeah. put into the Oculus Rift, into the, the Sony Morpheus, and, uh, and see how it turns out. It's very exciting. Uh, yeah. But speaking of peripherals, you guys are also offering uh, support for a range of driving peripherals, yes? The, so wheels and pedals and shifts right. and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of licensing partnerships that the studio has made. Uh, I know that with Thrustmaster, that's kind of a, a pretty, pretty uh, favored, uh, you know, peripheral system. For Absolutely, games, yeah. So They're that's very cool. popular. Yeah. Uh, we got I got some questions coming in on the Gamespot comments of uh, sort of Project Cars stuff we've had up on the site, and uh, people are curious about about that range of cars. About you know, are they is it licensed cars and tracks, or are you guys uh, have you created any of your own like? 
yeah. original tracks or original cars or anything like that? Uh, so depending on the racing discipline, most of the tracks are authentic tracks that you'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, some of the tracks are, are uh, created by the developer, but that might be more for like kart series type. Okay. Uh, but a lot of the, the racing here that you see, whether it be Le Mans or the GT or the tracks, that's going to be some authentic tracks. And uh, those kart series racing, they've got like loop-de-loops and jumps and items and stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> to, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so uh, Project Cars, it's coming out this year. Yes, it'll be coming out November of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One. Uh, the Steam platform, and then in 2015, uh, the first ever Wii U version. So no kidding. That's going to be pretty crazy. You're going to be like, honk, tap the Wii U thing to honk the horn, because honking <laughs> horns is like an integral part of car racing on a that, professional level. As that's I been my it. feedback. I wanted a yeah. horn in there so I could, yeah. Hey, we're community. We're giving you community feedback. My voice this counts. counts. <laughs> my voice counts. All yeah. right. So uh, Project Cars coming out in November, and uh, again for folks who are interested in sort of keeping an eye on it and maybe contributing? Are there forums or a website they can check out? Yeah, there's out? plenty of forums. They can go to the WMD portal mm -hmm. uh, and find the Cars uh, Project Cars page in there, or they can go to projectcarsgame.com as well. All right, Brian, thank you very much for coming by. Thank you Talk for having me. Talking about Project Cars.